Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today's topic is gonna to be a little bit different than other videos on control paint because I'm not really gonna offer a solution. Instead, I hope this starts a bit of a dialogue. Maybe you just think about it yourself or hopefully you'll talk to your other artist friends. Really see what everybody's thinking. And if you'd like to comment on this post, that would be awesome because really I don't have the answer for this, but we should all be thinking about it. And the big question is, how to fill your free time. Because I know from surveys I've taken in the past that many of you want to be professional artists. But I also know, just because I'm a person, that everybody has different interests. I like a lot of different things, and some of them have nothing to do with art. So every day I have to decide, how do I want to spend my free time? And if what you want to do is become a professional artist, that free time is all the more valuable because it's when you have the opportunity to build those skills that you can eventually turn into a job. The way I see it, there's sort of a continuum. On one side of the continuum, you've got spreading out in the most diverse way possible. Recognizing I like lots of different things, I'm going to spend an equal amount of time, which is just a little bit of time, on each of those things. Well, on the far other end of the spectrum, I could decide I have a single goal. Let's say it's be an illustrator for children's books and I'm going to spend every waking hour working towards that goal. Well, realistically, this right side of the spectrum is pretty hard to attain. And even if you did, I'm not sure it would be very fun. You wouldn't have a very well-rounded, fulfilled life. And then the left side of the spectrum might be fun in the short term, but ultimately this is not going to lead you to having a career as an artist. Because you have to be competitive in one of these narrow fields if you're going to get employed. So as an artist, we have to walk this balance. And every artist is going to have a different answer to where is the right balance for them. But I know personally, there's lots of different offshoots from my skills that I want to pursue. For instance, recently I've been pursuing computer programming. And that, at a face value, doesn't really have a lot to do with digital painting. But I've found some nice overlaps. And in fact, some of those overlaps have allowed for this site, Control Paint, to be possible because what I went to college for did not prepare me to make this website. But because I had an interest in similar skills, and I had enough overlap, I was able to combine them and do this project. But sometimes I do pose the question, well, what if I had just focused solely on digital painting? And if that were the case, I would have not been able to make this site, but maybe I would have had different career opportunities. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not going to tell you a solution. In fact, I don't even think there is a correct solution that fits every artist. But what I encourage you to do is to be thinking about this all the time. Think about it like a battle plan or a strategy. Where do you want to be in two years? What about five years? And when it comes time to think about some exciting new skill that you want to learn, or some new cool hobby, how does it relate to that goal? Is it going to be a distraction? Or is it related enough that it just might add to your possible careers? And sometimes it's hard to know. You're not always going to have a clear answer to this question. But if you're not asking the question at all, you might end up with a bunch of different skills that never add up to a career. And I should say that not adding up to a career can be fine too. I know a bunch of happy artists that only do art in their free time and never need to make money doing it, and that works great. But ultimately, getting that dream job in the arts, if that's what you want to do, is going to be competitive. So ask yourself, what do I love doing most? If I had to pick one thing, what would I be happy doing day in, day out? The answer to that question is probably a good career. And then on the list of all the other things you like doing, some of the best things might be the ones that are similar to that first thing. Because in my personal experience, when skill sets are similar, similar enough to have a little bit of overlap, you'll find yourself using them professionally in surprising ways, in ways that you never expected. And finally, what are you willing to not do? What are you willing to give up in exchange for this amount of focus? We all like a lot of things, but we don't have unlimited time. So hopefully this is not too gloomy and that's not going to give you guys a bad day. But it is definitely worth thinking about whether you're a very beginner or you're a seasoned professional. So talk about it with your friends. Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.